few announcements before a final word of blessing over you. The first is that we're going to be welcoming our new director of faith formation, Israel, and his wife, Rachel, uh, today at our 3 p.m. kind of in-person service at Temple Bat Yam. Um, we're going to have some of the kids pray uh, for Israel, which I think is going to be a really beautiful thing. Um, some of those he'll be serving will be praying for him as he enters into this. And um, there's actually going to be a little bit of ice cream there for those that uh, will be drawn to that on a, on a warm California afternoon. Um, but one of the questions I wanted to ask you is we kind of reflect upon um, Israel coming. And um, another thing that I also wanted to say is that we're going to be thanking um, Anna Goodman as well, because she's going to be tra transitioning out of her position as um, a children's ministry director. She's been working really hard over the last year behind the scenes, um, uh, you know, creating resources for families at home, even online videos and things like that. And there's been a lot of work that has gone uh, unseen in, in the last year. And so we really want to thank her for everything she's done and cherish that over the last year. But in my conversations with Anna, we've also just realized that um, her job, um, <clears throat> excuse me, her job has changed a lot over the last year in COVID. And as we enter into a new kind of season of meeting in person and faith formation for children and really wanting to build it, um, you know, this position has just changed from what Anna originally did. And the new position and what it's becoming is just going to would place way too much weight on Anna and on her family in this season. And so we both agreed that now would be a good time for a transition for her and, um, for kind of someone new to, to join in, in in this ministry going forward. So I just want to say a word of thanks to Anna for all that she's done and, and also just say if you have words of encouragement to send her away, that'd be great. She's going to still be around with her kids and with Travis uh, with us in the days uh, ahead. Um, but with both Israel coming and, and Anna transitioning, um, which are different things, but there happen to be overlapping at this time when we're moving to Watermark, um, one of the things I, I've just been reflecting on is like how many of us in our church became Christians or were first introduced to Jesus before the age of 10? <laughs> how many of us became Christians or were first introduced to Jesus before the age of 10? And if that's not you, that's okay. But I'm just wondering for you or those you know, like what impact did that have on your life? Uh -huh. What impact did that have on your life? I know for me, I can distinctly remember first hearing the gospel, what uh, Dennis talked about um, in um, John chapter 3, um, verse 16. I first was told that verse when I was four years old. And it's actually the verse that led me to say, I want to accept Jesus in my heart. You know, <laughs> I want to pray the prayer. Um, and then uh, being baptized when I was 10 years old, and just the key people that actually were a part of that formation in the church that I grew up in. And as I'm looking at Holy Trinity moving forward, there are so many things God is stirring in our hearts, a passion for evangelism, a passion for justice, um, a deep need for rest and restoration and to be a healing community. But one of the things I dream for us in, in the months and days ahead is can we be a church that is attentive to the work of God in our children and in our youth, and where we use the gifts that the Spirit has given us to cultivate, to foster their faith and their lives. So as we think about those things, I would just simply ask you to pray in the next weeks and months ahead. Pray that God would stir in the hearts of people in our church who he has gifted to bless and minister to children. Just pray that God would speak to them and he would minister to them and that the right people to, to kind of serve our children in the days ahead would, would be identified by the work of the Spirit in people's lives. So that's kind of around children's ministry. The, the next announcement just has to do with the fact that we're moving to Watermark. Um, this is our second to last Sunday at Temple by Yom and doing this online service at 10 a.m. And starting on June 20th, our in-person service is going to be at 2.30 p.m. at Watermark. And then our online stream service is going to be at 2.30 p.m. on YouTube. We're just going to stream that in-person service. Now, I'm really excited about this, uh, this transition. It's another big transition for us <laughs> in the midst of a season of a lot of change. But 
I think it's going to give us a lot of opportunity to rest, kind of resettle, reflect, redirect, and reconnect as a church. So what we're going to be calling this summer is just summer together again. <laughs> so uh, it, it was called summer together before uh, as Todd left and, and before I transitioned on. It was a big period of transition. And this is a period of transition again. So summer together. And these two weeks, we're looking at what is Jesus what does Jesus pray for us as his church? What's his heart for us as we anticipate this transition on June 20th? And then when we, are, when we make the transition starting June 20th, I'm going to do four weeks of like, um, what is Jesus' invitation to us? The invitation to rest, come to me. The invitation to reflect, listen to me. The invitation to redirect, follow me. And the invitation to reconnect, love one another as I've loved you. And we want those things, rest, reflect, redirect, and reconnect, reconnect to be the invitation that Jesus speaks to us over us in the summer. And then we're going to jump into the book of Ephesians and just say, uh, Lord, show us the fullness of your grace, according to Ephesians, and the people that you have called us to be. And we're going to spend four or five months just being in Ephesians and saying, Lord, let us receive your grace. Let us become the people that you want us to become. So that's kind of where we're going this summer. And I just wanted to hold that before you. Um, and so before a final word of blessing, I want to remind you that Kep will be online at 11 a.m. on Zoom and a couple members of her prayer team, and they would love to pray for you in this season um, in confidentiality and trust and peace. Uh, if you need to be prayed over and encouraged in God's name, if you need to be prayed for protection from the evil one, um, sanctification, the truth, please go to Kep and, and allow her to bless you and to pray over you.